Hi, I'm Mike Scramstead of CDOX and welcome to the tip of the day. In this tip we're going to talk a little bit about 3D printing. Now as 3D printing becomes more popular and more and more dentists are doing this, we need to start looking at the different applications and different types of models you can make and also the ease of use of doing this. Now the best software that I've personally seen so far is the InLab20 Model Maker. Okay, so InLab20 Model Maker is an application of InLab20 CAD and it allows you to make models in, in, in my opinion, an easier way with more of a step-by-step -step process. So if you look at this particular case, uh, there's going to be just an upper and lower jaw that we scanned with the Prime Scan brought it into in-lab, and we're going to print some models just to do some diagnostic work for a full mouth reconstruction. Okay, so once you have these in here, we can go ahead and open the application of Model Maker and bring these into the model software. Okay, so once they get into the model software, you'll see there's a step-by-step -step process that you need to complete. Now you can't move forward until you clean the models here, for instance. So I'm just going to clean the upper model to show you as an example of what you do. And so when you clean the model, we're just going to draw this line in a way to cut out all the extraneous material uh, from our scan, uh, from the prime scan. So we're going to go all the way around this upper arch, kind of cut out this extraneous material, make this line nice and straight so we can get a beautiful model. Now I also did this for the lower arch, but I didn't show you that part, but you can kind of see that they're both together. We can go ahead at the top and link the upper and the model together so when we process the base of these models, they're going to be done together. Okay, so we'll turn that on. We'll go ahead and hit apply and then you're going to see the bases come up very quickly. Okay, so once these bases come up, we can go to the next step which is going to allow us to do different things if we so choose. Now in this particular case, we're not going to really do a bunch of fancy things, but you can see at the bottom we have the ability to create stumps, to create gingival masks, we can do implant models. There's many different things that we can do with this software. Um, we can ditch out dyes. Lots of things, very intuitive. You're seeing here now that we, I'm showing you that you can add supports, you can add bars. So uh, the software is super intuitive, it allows you to do uh, quite a bit. Now as we move forward into the final manufacturing phase, I just want to show you one last step that you can do which is to hollow out the, the models very easily with one simple button. Okay, so you can see up at the top we have a carve out, we can just apply it, we can, we can show how much we want to carve out and you can do this to save a little resin. So uh, it's like I said, it's a great software if you're going to get into 3D printing. Um, it's very intuitive and it allows you to do things extremely simple with just simple clicks of the button. For more tips like this, please visit us at CDOX. Thank you.